You know, for a long time, going back to the AMC days, literally, back to the AMC days, we've always fielded questions about, uh, why is there no Michael Jackson biopic? Where's the Michael, the king of pop? Great selling artist of all time. Why is there no? And we would often say, well, because it's difficult. You know, there's a very, very fine line you're going to have to walk to in a Michael Jackson biopic about which hot button issues do you address, which do you not? And then if you do address them, how do you address them? Do you imply he didn't do anything wrong, which is what I think half the people believe? Well, then you're going to piss off a lot of people if you do. Do you imply in your movie that he did do, he did do something wrong, which the other half of people believe, in which case you're going to piss off the other half of people. And we've talked a lot about even recently, about that's why we haven't seen one yet. I said, if it wasn't for that, I think we would have had six Michael Jackson biopics by now, to be honest with you. But it looks like it is now happening as Deadline is now reporting that uh, Emancipation's Antoine Fuqua, I love Antoine Fuqua. I think he's a terrific director. Uh, he also did uh, the Equalizer films of Denzel Washington. Training Day. Uh, he did Training Day. He did the uh, uh, the Chris Pratt, Denzel Washington, uh, uh, Magnificent Seven. Yeah. Yeah. Magnificent Seven. I really like that. Nobody talks about the movie anymore. I think I like he did one. Olympus Has Fallen, too. He, oh, he might have. I can't remember. Anyway, Antoine Fuqua is going to be directing the Michael Jackson biopic for Lionsgate, on a script by Bohemian Rhapsody's uh, Graham King and or, or John uh, Logan script, who wrote Bohemian Rhapsody. And I'll tell you what, I mean, look, Michael Jackson is, other than Elvis, probably the most notable artist of all time. I, I don't know that that's a lot of hyperbole to say that. Um, we knew eventually at some point there would be a biopic, but I, I do hope Lionsgate is ready for the landmines because this is like, I just look, maybe Antoine Fuqua can crack the code on this. I just am not a hundred percent sure how you do this movie without pissing off half the people in the, in the country. Uh, Cause whichever way you go, if you go this way, you're going to piss off this. If you go that way, but I don't know, maybe they found a way to crack the code. It had to happen. Eventually it took a while, but here we are. Rob, you're hearing Antoine Fuqua is doing a Michael Jackson biopic. What do you think about this? Well, on one hand, I mean, it, it could be a, a hard hitting. You know, they had a they had a taskmaster of a father, and and uh, if they delve into his early years and and his rise to prominence with first the Jackson, the Jackson Five, I guess, and then his solo career, and I, I mean, it could be a very interesting story. I, I don't know how far they will delve into anything else, but I mean, I you know, I've always I grew up with Michael Jackson's music. And um, I'll be there when it opens. Oh, I'll that's cute. Mm -hmm. I like that. Chris, <laughs> I don't know. You're, you're hearing about this. What do you think? Good move, bad move, interesting, not. What do you think? I mean, obviously, Michael Jackson made quite a mark musically, right? He had 13 number one hits. The only person who surpassed that, you know, is Elvis and Rihanna, I believe. So big, big music maker who had a tremendous career, but also, like you guys were saying, a lot of murky waters that you have to tread here, right? Do you dive into Neverland Ranch? Do you dive into his very, very tumultuous childhood? What do you tell? What don't you tell? And how do you do this truthfully? Because a lot of times, too, with biopics, we tend to do things with rose-colored glasses. And how do you do that in this scenario where his life and his choices did directly affect a lot of people and we still don't have clear-cut, uh, you know, resolution on a lot of things that went on in his life. I, I feel like it's going to be one that's going to be really tough to crack, but yeah, Antoine Fuqua is a great director, so maybe he's the guy. What's Now Now we'll start the, the never-ending, long until it's announced, who's going to play Michael Jackson. Yeah. One of our viewers, uh, Magical Sky Wizard, in the live chat wrote, they're going to have to grow someone in a lab to play the role. I, I mean, really, who do you get to play Michael Jackson? I, I mean, I, I can't even... Off the top of my head, it's going to have to be some newcomer. Because I honestly, off the top of my head, I cannot think of anyone off the top of my head that would be fit. And then they're going to probably have to get different actors to play Michael, like depending on if they go in. Or who knows? Maybe they, for all we know, it's going to be like that one Steve Jobs biopic where it's like the movie just all took place around the, the press conference, right? Maybe this yeah. whole movie starts 
at what was it? Was it the American Music Awards where he first cracked out the moonwalk on national television? Ooh. Can't remember if it was the American. Maybe that's where the movie starts. Maybe they have to do his childhood, teenage years. I, I mean, it's only the Pepsi commercial. Well, that's it's what I was going to say. The they can, how much are they going to have to pay to get Pepsi? To yeah. Pull the Maybe they'll pull like a I'm not there and it'll be different actors takes like they did with Bob Dylan. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Or, like or they might, I forget which biopic did it, like a single day. Maybe the light, the day his hair caught on fire. I mean, like like the whole to the avoid one, yeah. all mm -hmm. the other controversy. You say we're taking one one ridiculous day in the life of Michael Jackson, and you can move in and out of flashbacks or something. Yeah, maybe. Anyway, guys, it looks like it's finally happening. They're doing a Michael Jackson biopic. Antoine Fuqua is directing it. What do you think of this? Uh, kudos to Lionsgate. I, I think this is a ballsy move. And maybe you could pay off in space. Hey, you want to hit home runs? You got to swing big. So let's see what happens. Whatever you guys think, jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. We want to thank a sponsor of this video, Masterclass. Masterclass offers classes on a wide variety of topics, all taught by world-class instructors at the very top of their fields. Each class is broken out into individual video lessons, usually around 10 minutes long. And Masterclass is completely accessible on your phone, the web, smart TV, and available via audio mode to listen to classes on the go. They have over 2,500 video lessons from over 180 of today's most brilliant minds. They're all available anytime, anywhere on iOS, Android, desktop, Apple TV, Amazon Fire TV, and Roku. Now, obviously around here on the John Campus Show, we love our movies. So why not learn filmmaking from Jodie Foster or maybe directing from Ron Howard himself or the great Neil Gaiman doing his masterclass on the art of storytelling. And you guys have heard me talk about my favorite masterclass, Business Strategy and Leadership by Big Papa Iger himself, Bob Iger, the new and returning CEO of Disney. Guys, I highly recommend that you check it out. This holiday, give the perfect gift of an annual masterclass membership and get one free. Go to masterclass.com slash campia today. That's masterclass.com slash campia. Terms apply.